It is the last week of Parliament before the long winter break, always a very busy time. And to discuss what we might expect, we're joined now by Fairfax's Chief Political Correspondent, Mark Kenny. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Chris. Now, what can we expect this week? Well, I suppose the government's uh, biggest ticket item, certainly the highest profile item on the agenda, is the, uh, the citizenship laws that we've heard so much about for so long and seen so few details of. The legislation, the, the uh, legislation to bring in uh, these changes to uh, basically uh, allow uh, dual citizens to be stripped of their Australian citizenship has been highly controversial and quite a divisive political issue and we haven't actually seen the bill yet. So that's going to the uh, the Liberal Party room tomorrow, as we understand, and then will be brought into the Parliament on Wednesday. And clearly Tony Abbott's been trying to set up a, a, a you know sort of a false dichotomy really of saying that uh, the government is absolutely committed to stopping people who have uh, fought with terrorist organisations or involved themselves with terrorist organisations coming back into the country. Labor, on the other hand, well, I mean, as we saw his rhetoric uh, toward the end of last week, wants to roll up, roll out the red carpet for these people, which of course is quite ridiculous. But uh, that's that's the uh, that's the dichotomy he'd like voters to understand. Now, Labor's position has been: hang on, we can't really comment on this because we haven't seen the legislation. If they only see the legislation, say, on Tuesday, it's introduced Wednesday. Well, they won't see it till Wednesday, yeah. They won't see it till Wednesday. Parliament's lasting on Thursday. Does that mean that the government, Tony Abbott's really setting them up, you know, you, you kind of pass this without full debate or we're going to whack you over the head with it? Well, I think so. Uh, look, it's going... It, as I wrote uh, on Friday of last week, uh, for Saturday, uh, this now looks to be a lot more minimalist than was the case uh, when Tony Abbott first flagged it. I mean, initially we know, courtesy of the leaks that Fairfax Media had, that Tony Abbott was proposing to, have, to be able to just strip the citizenship of anyone who was regarded as having been involved in a terrorist organisation or a sympathiser or whatever, according to the Minister's decision, and that was that. It was as simple as that. Now, that could have left someone stateless because it would have applied to sole Australian citizens. And it was, of course, a, uh, an, an, an enormous reach, really, to have a minister exercising you know, a, a judgment of guilt or innocence on people and stripping their citizenship. Uh, so what we're now going to see, it looks like, is a much more minimalist change where it will be the current law, which applies to someone who takes up arms with a foreign army uh, in the Citizenship Act, that will be modernised, it looks like, uh, so that it will be uh, so it will apply to anyone who takes out arms with a terrorist organisation or, or involves themselves with a terrorist organisation. So that's a long way away from what Tony Abbott was originally proposing. So in accommodate, accommodating the dissenters within his own cabinet, does it really make it very easy for to Labor go to, to now go? Oh look, that's okay. Yeah, we'll pass it. No difference here. Well, it might be because I don't think anyone's going to have a problem with uh, with modernising the the law so as to uh, recognise the fact that most, uh, you know, the, the sort of security threat is no longer necessarily just restricted to you know state actors, to to foreign countries uh, and 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 civil or, or uh, international wars happening. It's also in relation to you know, terrorist organisations to non-state actors, as they say. So no one, I think, is going to have a particular problem with that. What's interesting here, though, is that uh, there are some quite significant constitutional questions. Section 35 of the Citizenship Act uh, allows this currently, but it's never actually, that is, for in, in relation to people fighting with foreign armies, it says that if you take up arms with a foreign army, you automatically at that moment surrender your citizenship. Well, that's fine, except it's never really been used and so it's never really been tested in the High Court. And someone, at some point, even though it is an automatic cessation of your citizenship, someone has to decide on the fact of the matter that you've in fact done that. Uh, so there is at least an implied discretion of a minister in that power. Whether that is constitutional or not, whether that contravenes the separation of powers, I think remains to be seen. So. There are some interesting, uh, you know, kind of complexities to what seems like a relatively simple change. So going back to your other question about, you know, are they trying to ram this through? I don't know that there'll be a huge amount of debate about it. I don't know that Labor necessarily uh, would want to uh, debate mm. it for too long. But it's quite clear that the government, and Tony Abbott particularly, wants to have Labor equivocate, wants to have Labor split hairs or raise concerns or whatever, because it feeds perfectly into his 
you know, sort of uh, black and white narrative. You're either for terrorists, uh, for and you know, for, for taking on the terrorists, or you're in some way accommodating, you're equivocating. So let me take a guess of what might happen in practice. That is, that Labor passes the legislation claiming that it that it has reigned in the excesses of Tony Abbott, when in reality it's probably Malcolm Turnbull who has. Well, that's right. I mean, and, and it's common sense that we'll have, because what's the use? And this is what Turnbull's been saying and a few others, and indeed Mark Dreyfus, the, the Labor Shadow Attorney General. What's the use of having laws that are un unconstitutional and which therefore can be challenged quite quickly in the courts and found to be so and struck out? That actually weakens your, your uh, defences against terrorism rather than strengthens them. So uh, Abbott looks to have initially engaged in a fair amount of overreach here. This is politics before policy and, and politics before uh, the law, really. And uh, it's, it, it has been pretty, pretty arse about, to be frank. I mean, we've had nearly a month of this going on. I think uh, Shadow, um, I think Scott Morrison, when he was in the immigration, raised this something like uh, February of last year. That was when we first heard about uh, this idea of citizenship changes. And so here we are now. It's really ramped up over the last month and we still haven't seen the legislation. Labor is right to say we can't give you a definitive answer on our position until we've seen the legislation. But Tony Abbott wants to cast it as a, essentially a question of values. You're either, you're either tough on terrorists or you're not. You know, which are you?